GenderWatch is a ProQuest brand database that you can use to find scholarly and popular sources related to women and gender studies. To use GenderWatch, start on the UWM Library's homepage. Go to the Search and Find drop-down menu, and then select Databases and Guides by Subject. Next, go to the link for Women's and Gender Studies. This will bring you to a list of all the Women and Gender Studies databases. You'll find the database GenderWatch listed at the top of the page under Best Bets. Click the title to link out. You may be prompted to sign in with your ePanther ID and password. Like most databases, you can get started by entering some terms in the main search box. For example, I'm interested in learning more about the ways people with disabilities experience reproductive health care. So I'll start with some simple terms to get started, such as disability and reproductive health. The first thing I'll do is I'll scroll my page of results and I'll look at how my terms are used. I notice that the term reproductive health appears pretty frequently, but the term disability or disabilities appears a little less frequently in my search results, although there are still some useful articles here. What I'm doing is looking for additional search terms I can try to improve my search results. I'm seeing the term reproductive justice through here, and I'm also seeing the term reproductive rights listed. So this search, I'll try the term reproductive rights instead of reproductive health. Although I see a similar number of results, many of the articles that appear now are different than ones I saw in my first search. And if I want to change up my search results even more, I can use the filters on the left-hand side of the page to change what I'm seeing right now. So I could use the source type filter to filter by books or scholarly journals or newspapers or magazine articles. I could use the publication date filter to look at either earlier articles written about this topic or more recent sources about this topic. And I can use this subject term filter here to select different subtopics related to my research that I want to include or exclude from my results. Unlike searching the web, you'll want to look at more than the first page of search results. This is why using the filters to reduce the number of results you see is so important. On my third page of search results, I find an article that interests me. So I'm going to click on the title to see it in more detail. This will bring up the abstract or the summary of the article, and in some cases, the full text of the article. If you want to see the citation details, like the author and the journal, click on Abstract and Details. And if you'd like to see a PDF document that you can download, use the PDF icon in the upper right, or click on Full Text PDF on the left. GenderWatch also has what's called a thesaurus. This is a list of subject words that are used to describe the sources that can be found in this database. I can use the thesaurus to look up preferred search terms and to build new searches. First, I'll go to Advanced Search right above the main search bar. Then I'll click on Thesaurus at the top of the page. This will open up a window that will let me search across the database's subject terms. When I search for the word disability and hit Find, I'm presented with a long list of terms that contain the word disability or are related to it. If I click the boxes to the right of a term, it's going to show me all of the narrower, broader, or related terms associated with that search term that I'm looking at. So this will also allow me to add all of these terms to my search. So looking at this list, I want to search for all articles that are tagged with the subject term, disabled people, or disability studies or disability discrimination because that reflects my topic and interests. And then I will see that this or radial is highlighted and I'm going to add that to my search. And up here we can see that all of these terms are now added to the search bar. In addition to disability studies, I also want to make sure that my search results reflect my interest in reproductive health care. So I'm going to open the thesaurus again, and I'm going to search for the term reproductive rights. I see that it's a standalone term. I could look at the other terms nested under it, but I think for the purposes of my research, I just want to add reproductive rights. So I'm going to click to the left of it. And this time, I want to add it to the idea of disability studies. So I'm going to click the and radial and then add to the search. Now, looking at my search bar, all the terms I've added related to disability are connected with an or to indicate that I'll accept any sources tagged with any of these terms. The term reproductive rights is added to my search with an and to indicate I want sources related to disability studies that are also about reproductive rights. To the database, my search looks something like this Venn diagram. Ultimately, researching databases is about trial and error. It's important to use different strategies and keep track of what works and doesn't for your topic. Some strategies might give you a short list of results, like using the advanced search and thesaurus feature. Others might give you a large list of results that you need to filter through. What works best for you is dependent on your topic and your preferred research style. What's important is you keep trying and learning from your search results.